Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so, today was round two of the NFL Draft. Uh, we picked Landon Dickerson, the center from the Alabama Crimson Tide. And there's definitely been a uh, mixed review on him uh, from what I've seen. There are some people that are very happy that we picked him. A lot of people are upset. As for me, you know, I'm one of those people who's in between right now. You know, there was a lot of great talent there on the board for our defense. You got the likes of Morig. You got JOK. You know, there's many great players who were there for the taking for us at 37. But... They went with the center. Our apparent heir to Jason Kelsey. Because the man is not getting any younger. And uh, I know he said he's not going to give retired just spontaneous uh, on us. You know, he's going to give us the warning. But uh, I don't know how much how much longer we got left on him. So, you know, after I watched a couple of highlight clips of him, I looked at some breakdown of film. If he can stay healthy which is the number one concern with a lot of people right now. That's his biggest criticism is the back surgeries and him being a, quote, injury-prone player. If he stays healthy, I really do like the pick. It's He can really manhandle a lot of the defenders he faced in college. You know, being from a D1 school like Alabama as well, you know, he's had to face a lot of great defensive talent as well. And his versatility on that O-line is incredible. So even if he's not going to be our center of the future, not our parent heir, heir to Jason Kelsey, you know, he can play everywhere on the line. He's a very versatile lineman. And, you know, you're definitely going to see probably a lot of people react, oh, horrible pig, how he blew it, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I think the jury's still out on it. I'm a little bit hopeful for it. But, you know. Again, with any of these picks, the only thing we can do is speculate and, you know, just say who we think is a good pick, whether they reached hard, if they're going to flop, you know. We won't really know until the season starts, but, no, I'm honestly not too upset with the pick, you know. It's, we need some more help at our line. Our line has been real bad over the past two seasons. You can blame injuries all you want, but that just shows even more that we need to have good death there if our linemen are getting injured all the time. And you know what? That guy probably was not going to make it, like, past pick 37. It wouldn't, especially with how many linemen went directly after pick 37, you know, he probably would have been picked very next one for all we know. But, you know, there's a lot of upside. Of course, there's always the risk that he gets injured too much. He never truly really develops. But as things right now, I like the pick. You know, it, it could have been a lot worse. Would I preferred Mo Rig or JOK or any one of those other defensive players? Of course, but... You know, you also got to be practical and rebuild the offense right now. Seems to be the main priority for Howie Roseman and the Eagles this year. So, we'll see how they do. And with that, I'm ending my video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have the time, hit that like button. Maybe subscribe if you like it so far. And maybe leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the pick. Do you think there would have been a better tackle later on in the draft? Who knows? But with that, I will catch you guys next time.